A federal judge's heartbreaking story put the spotlight on the safety of judges across the country. Judge Esther Salas' son was murdered by a man who intended to kill her. CBS 2's Christine Sloan reports on her determination to make sure others don't have to live in fear. We are so very proud to be Daniel's parents. Thank you, honey. We love you. She's been fighting for two years to make sure no other family ever goes through the pain she and her husband have endured. Today, Judge Esther Salas tells me she finally feels at peace. Daniel's senseless murder made sense of his life. The federal legislation named after her son Daniel makes it a crime to publish addresses, phone numbers, and other personal information of federal judges and their families online. We just have so much gratitude to our home state senators and, and congresswoman Cheryl, and along with all the members of Congress who really worked together in a bipartisan way to see this day happen. Judge Salas's son was shot and killed by a lawyer posing as a delivery driver back in July of 2020. The attorney, angry with the judge, went to her New Brunswick home to assassinate her, but Daniel answered the door. Salas's husband, Mark, was also critically wounded, but recovered. To see him and to lose him uh, that day was a pain that I don't think I thought I could overcome. She was targeted for being a woman on the bench and specifically one of only two Latina judges on the District Court of New Jersey. The act also authorizes the U.S. Marshal Service to hire additional staffing to help protect federal judges. We're seeing a rise in threats on federal judges. This will make the judiciary safer. My son didn't sacrifice his life so we would squander ours. I will never forget my son. I move forward with him always. Judge Salas says her faith and belief she'll reunite with Daniel in the afterlife is what gives her strength to go on. At the federal courthouse in Newark, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News.